carts and a racing go kart in gear among items stolen from a Jefferson County storage lot. One of the victims says the business owner is allowing thefts to continue. Russell Kinsaw spoke with the victims and has been getting some answers tonight. He's been doing this for 10 years. This has been his whole world. Jessica Mayer and her family have invested a lot of time, emotions, and money in supporting her son's passion for racing. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment and 10 years of accumulated stuff. In the off-season, the family stores their racing go-kart and gear at Custom RV and Boat Storage on Highway 6167 in Imperial. The trailer holding it all was stolen in December during a spate of thefts at the business. Lane and I went to pick it up on January 2nd. And that's when we discovered that it was gone out of the spot. The storage lot's owner is installing 13 additional security cameras after the thefts, but already had cameras, lighting, and a fence. Turns out the suspect had an access code to open the gate. As soon as the thefts were discovered, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office was notified. Detectives staked out the location for two days, and the thief's access code was canceled. The owner tells First Alert 4 that detectives also made an unusual request. Well, we were told to hold off contacting the customers because they were afraid it may tip him off and then he wouldn't come back. Mayor's trailer was spotted near Arnold on a surveillance camera two days after the crimes were reported. Did the delayed notification to customers allow the thefts to continue? We could have at least went down there, grabbed the trailer. We could have taken it home. We could have taken it someplace else. But the owner said Mayor's trailer was gone by the time the thefts were reported and sheriff's officials say the owner misunderstood their request. Our detectives didn't tell him not to notify victims. That's, that's not what we do and it's not going to help us at all. He didn't want him to contact the suspect. Really, we don't have a crime unless we have a victim, so we need to contact victims. After Mayer posted on social media about the theft, a man who bought the go-kart contacted her and returned it. Investigators have identified the suspect and are actively looking to arrest him. Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4.